Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. So in the previous video, we have seen about the composable example. Also, we have learned about where composable actually is used. Is. So whenever we want to define the reusable logic, then we will be using this composable thing. Now, I will try to give you with another example. So that is that is nothing but what I can say is when you are trying to get a fetch API thing and all those things when you are trying to get it. So how we can do using the composable, I will try to explain you. I will take our simple example, which is already present. That is post.view. So here we are having this con static post data. Instead of having this static post data, I will try to get it from the API. That is nothing but JSON placeholder, which we are having it here. So fine, let's go. And in the app.view, I will be adding the post here. Let's see how the code appears. This is the post already is there post is there the component has been added we try to see these are the posts which we are trying to show it id one title edit post leave it we are not doing this one so we are showing this id and title fine so this one we are getting it through the static let's try to remove this one and here what i want to do is i will have two variables that is constant post ref of null and i will be having this error also ref of null so i'll be having two things and what i will try to do is we will be having a function to fetch okay so this one is a function and we will do a sync and we want the url right so fetch of the url which we are trying to get the post data so where is this one the, the post data and let's paste this one and here i will be adding this await so that we can create the constant response and after the response we can do post dot value post dot value is equal to await rest dot json got the data and here we will be adding this one in the try catch try and the catch i can do error message and error dot value is equal to that's it. So this is the thing, and we will be calling this do fetch here. No, do fetch. That's it. We are calling this do fetch. Now let's do this one. Uh, let's go here, and here I will try to show one do. Okay. And do be if and if if error is there, error is there, then I want to show error encountered and control and i can show the error dot message error dot message we are showing this error dot message and here we can add another do inside this do so this single post is there and here we will be showing vi hyphen else hyphen hyphen if post is there if post is there then so at last what i can do do vi hyphen else so i can add loading loading symbol you can add this loading symbol so that's it so let's try to see whether we can able to see the output or not Muting. and here if i go so function instant update like this we are getting do fetch is not defined okay what is this do fetch is not defined in function we are able to get it and here we are using this one all fine so this one is in the try block right this should be something like here the try block should be here not there here we can have this is the correct code now let's go and see the output if you see the output we are able to get the titles and all those things so if you try to see we are able to get this title and all those things and if you try to observe clearly we are able to see the loading symbol also yeah loading and we are able to see it i will show you that one also but now what, I, what we are trying to do, we are, write, write, we are writing the logic in the same thing. We can use the composable and we can shift this entire logic to another file. So for example, I am creating a new file. I can have use fetch.js. So this is the file. And here we can have export function use fetch. And here the same logic, whatever the thing we are trying to use it to fetch and everything up to here. I can copy and i can paste it here and we can import ref port 
f from u that's it right do fetch and all the things we are using and we need to return post and the error that's it so we are trying to use the row post and the here now if you see the output here we can remove this ref and here we are having this one right and we can call something like constant post post comma uh, error equal to use fetch here i can import from fetch.js use fetch and here we need to use use fetch that's it and this is the thing so if you see the output then also we are able to get the same output hopefully we should be able to get the same output yeah we are getting the same output now this one is restricted to this url right so we can pass it as an argument also this url so here i can have something like constant url is equal to list it and we can send this url to here okay and in the page.js what i can do i can get the url sorry i can get this url and here we can pass this url so like this like this we can send it now here in the post.view we are able to see the same output now if you see here if i refresh this page so we are able to get the same output right so we are able we are able to achieve the same output so these are all the posts we are able to get it so what we have done so this is where we will be doing we will be using so now we can use this fetch thing wherever we want wherever we want this use fetch so we can use this one so you can use this composable use fetch and you can pass the url and it will pass you the posts and the error if you want you can also use the date data something like that and you can use it as a generalized one so this is how we will be using now if an error occurs or anything means so how it will happen i will try to show it in the next video or otherwise if a url changes automatically it needs to call the data if a url has been changed uh, dynamically means if it is url changing every time whenever the url is changing so we need to call so you uh, we need to call this do fetch so do fetch has to calculate it automatically i need to do it so how we can do it in this one so we'll try to do it in the next video so this is how the normally generalized composable will be so the mixins and the composable will be little bit different which we'll discuss afterwards so just like in, in options api in the view 3 also we can use the composable concept in the setup i can you have a setup property and you can use it directly normally in the options api in the view 2 we'll be using the mixins in view 3 mixins has been uh, still it is there but we'll be using the composable feature in our view 3 thing. Hope you understood about this concept. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.